Gabriel Bonner Chanel. Gabriel Bonner Chanel was born in France in 1883. When she was 11 years old, her mother passed away and she became an orphan. She was sent to an orphanage where she learned to sew. But the nuns and the other children at the orphanage didn't like her. They thought she was a strange girl. Gabrielle didn't care what they thought of her. She always remembered one important thing. Do what you love and love what you do. Gabrielle loved to sew. At school, while the other students played, she sewed. After finishing school, she became a seamstress. She sewed by day and sang by night. One evening when she was singing on stage, she earned the nickname Coco from the soldiers in the audience. Every night while Coco slept, she dreamt about all the things she wanted to do. After one of her dreams, she made a hat for her friend. It was a unique hat, unlike the other hats of the time. It was simple yet elegant. From that point on, Coco made more and more hats. This led her to open her first shop in 1908 in Paris. Her modern design surprised the young ladies there. Later, Coco learned that many ladies didn't dance at parties because their corsets were too tight and they couldn't breathe well. Coco began to create a brand new style so that every lady could feel comfortable in dresses and skirts. At Coco's first fashion show, some people scoffed at her clothes. They thought her designs were strange. Although they looked down on her work, Coco didn't let it bother her. She continued doing what she loved. She showed everyone how to be a stylish lady who didn't need to wear a corset. Because of her, other designers began to think differently too. This is why the world remembers young Gabrielle as the great fashion designer, Coco Chanel. Gabrielle once said that a girl should be two things, who and what she wants. Her story inspires me to never give up on my dreams, even though I'm only one small person in a big world. I want to follow in her steps and become better and better every day. <laughs>